Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. How are you doing, Capricorn? How is everything? How are you guys dealing with Christmas? <laughs> Christmas shopping. I hope you guys are doing amazing and staying safe. Anyways, let's get into your love reading, Capricorn. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2020 in regards to your love and romance. Let's get into your reading, Capricorn. Now, your first card here is the Hermit. Hermit card, uh, you're definitely wanting to know what's going on with the person of your interest or your partner. Uh, they may be a little bit uh, detached. Uh, for some of them, it could be that they are currently going through some type of internalizing, some type of um, trying to find their truth. Uh, for some, it could even represent that the partner is becoming more self-aware uh, more spiritual or connected to spirituality. Now, the next card is the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups could represent a situation where you feel like um, a situation where you feel like you need to walk away. Now, for some of you guys, this could be uh, with the Hermit. It could represent that there's absolutely no communication whatsoever. The Eight of Cups, you're definitely feeling like at this point you're ready to walk away from this connection or you are uh, making the decision to not want to put any more effort in this connection. Uh, we're going to see what the partner's cards are right now in a bit, but we also have temperance card here. So temperance is that of uh, timing. Timing right now, there's a lot of healing that's happening, whether it's with you or whether this is healing that is necessary for the partner or person that you're dealing with. And the next card here is the three of swords. Wow. Okay. Um, Okay, so there is a feeling of some type of betrayal, some type of hurt uh, that you've been through. Now, I do want to mention, um, because I feel that the hermit is not so much connected to, um, it's not so much connected to like them completely pushing you off. I feel uh, with this hermit here, I feel that there is a lot of enlightenment that's happening right now with the partner. Um, so this could be, if you're not in a situation where there was a third party situation or someone stepped out of the relationship, I feel that this could be emotions that have been suppressed that are coming back up that you're having to deal with Capricorn. Um, whether it's from the past, whether it's from uh, 10 years ago, whether it was some type of situation where perhaps you actively decided to walk away from a connection or a relationship uh, with the temperance, uh, it could have been a situation where you felt like you weren't emotionally connected anymore with the person. Uh, instead of taking the high road and speaking up, you could have been tempted to step out of the relationship. Okay, let's see what your partner's cards are here. Spirit, please give me the cards to represent the partner or person of interest of Capricorn and what they're dealing with at this present time, how they're viewing them, how they're feeling towards them. Okay, we have the two of pentacles. So they're definitely feeling like there is an imbalance in this connection or in this relationship with the five of pentacles. Yeah, I feel that someone uh, probably walked away from this connection or this partnership. The knight of pentacles, they're waiting to hear from you. Um, so it could have been that the partner was the one that stepped out of the relationship at this point with the hermit and the eight of cups. I feel that you've come to the understanding that you're no longer going to be putting effort in this connection. Uh, you're seeking or going towards your healing or working on yourself to be able to release this energy of the three of swords. Uh, them, on the other hand, I feel that uh, they're still hoping, they're still holding on to some type of hope. With the five of pentacles, um, they're definitely feeling like you're ignoring them, like you're not going to give them that opportunity, yet they still remain hopeful, wanting to hear from you or having the desire to reach out to you. Uh, and the nine of cups. So yeah, I feel that. Okay, so they're giving me different scenarios and I'm going to break it down. For some of you guys, those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I feel that there was a situation where perhaps um, they were dealing with other people. You came to that understanding or that enlightenment, or you just said, fuck it. I'm not going to deal with this anymore. And you chose to take or remove your energy from that 
to heal and work on yourself. And this is something that I feel with the temperance and the three of swords, it wasn't an easy, uh, an easy task to do yet. You've accomplished that because I feel that the three of swords is in reverse. So again, this is healing energy with the temperance there. But on the other hand, instead of them working on the healing that needed to happen or the lack of of understanding why they you know did what they did to you capricorn i felt that they had choices here with the two of pentacles and they decided to entertain that choice and then they ended up feeling like they were left out in the cold they felt rejected or they felt like it could have been kind of the situation where they think the grass is greener on the other on the other side and then they realize it's not and people are not going to deal with the nonsense that perhaps you dealt with Capricorn and they push them out so now when you're healed and you're ready to embrace a new beginning they're still holding on to the hope that you're going to reach out or that if they communicate you may actually give them another chance because they came to the understanding though it took them longer right? They came to the understanding that you're their happiness. They came to the understanding that no one's going to make them as happy or as fulfilled as you did. And they're seeking or wanting that love, that happiness that you brought into their lives. This could be a, an ex-partner. This could be a situation where you could, you could be single. You could have been single for the past two years. And all of a sudden, they're trying to reach out. Or they're trying to contact you. And they're trying to tell you how sorry they are. But truth of the matter is, they couldn't find their happiness anywhere else. Or they realized, no one's going to put as much effort and energy as you have. So they're wanting to recapture that. They're wanting to revisit that. They're wanting to see if there is still an opportunity here. Now, this could be vice versa. You guys already know it's a general reading. So if this was you, Capricorn, that cheated on your partner, you may be dealing with it right now. You may be dealing like, hey, I've gone through multiple relationships. I keep jumping from one to another. And it's just not panning out or I'm not happy. And it could very well be because you were deceitful to a good person. A person that genuinely loved you or that genuinely cared for you. And you put them through the ringer. So this could be nostalgia coming up. This could be something that you're, you know, tossing around, thinking about. But if this was done to you, be prepared. In this month, they're going to be reaching out to you. They're going to want to make amends. But I feel that it's not coming just, you know, just as amends. I feel that they're really wanting to revisit the past. They're wanting to get you back, Capricorn. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, this could be you or this could be your partner that's dealing with this type of energy. Could be that they're missing... Um, or thinking or revisiting the past, you know, a person that perhaps they cheated on, they could have cheated on with you, or they could have been the one that was cheated on. But there is definitely what they're telling me here. This is like, I feel that this has more to do with outside energy. So I feel that for some of you guys, your partner may be dealing with this type of energy. Um, or this could be you as well, Capricorn, but I feel that it's not its not something that's recent, although for some of you guys it could be, but I feel that it has more to do with like suppressed feelings, things that have been kept or you've been holding on to in the past and you're looking back or revisiting the past. Um, you know, your ruling planet is going to be going, uh, it's going to be conjunct, uh, conjunctioning with, um, with uh, Jupiter. So again, you know, what happens in in a conjunction, especially as close as it's going to be uh, on December the 21st, it's 
been crazy difficult for you Capricorns out there. I know it. I've dealt with a lot of Capricorns. Um, and it's been a very, I want to say a very wise few years because it's taught you a lot and you have been put through the ringer. Uh, and that's what Saturn does. And unfortunately, that's, you know, that's your ruling planet. Uh, and this is all to do with karmic debt, karmic energy, karmic past lives uh, that we have to deal with that type of energy. The positive thing is that Saturn is going to be um, it's going to be going out of your sign. Finally, you're able to breathe. Finally, you're able to uh, have fun, you know, especially uh, for you Capricorns where you've had Saturn in your fifth house, which is all to do with, uh, you know, fun. Uh Saturn being there, it kind of restricts it. There's no fun. It's it, everything comes hard and it's difficult. Um, but again, it's going to be leaving. Uh, it's going to be leaving your sign, Capricorn. So what that means is that one thing Saturn always does is when they leave a certain sign, they give you blessings. Uh, yes, it's been difficult and you've been tested and you've been trialed. But when it leaves your sign. It's going to be giving you gifts or blessings that you've earned through this hard work. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with this type of energy and this could be past energy. Um, and when you're able to overcome this energy. So again, for those of you guys that are getting randomly called by exes and stuff, do not entertain that and do not uh, think that it, it's the universe aligning and, you know, we're meant to be. No, no. Take it as whatever was left unsaid or undone, you're finally being able to speak your peace and let it go. Why? Because you are releasing this lesson about the past. For some of you guys, this could be that you were the one that stepped out of a relationship and you hurt and betrayed someone. And this is something that you've been dealing with or been carrying for a very long time. This could be regret that you're dealing with that is coming back around and you're having to deal with this type of energy and what they're telling you is let it go do not hold on to it we're humans we're meant to we're meant to fuck up so that you can learn and you can ascend let it go no more regret capricorn no more feeling bad no more saying you know all this difficult years is because i must have earned it because of all the shit i've done <laughs> I've had a few Capricorn clients tell me that, you know, I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. You know, I probably deserved it. Yeah, you probably did. But truth of the matter is, if you keep beating yourself up saying, you know, I messed up 15 years ago and I regret it and, you know, bring on all the destruction because maybe I deserve it. No, let it go. Embrace this new beginning that's coming to you. Acknowledge these feelings, if they're coming up, but then let it go. Don't stay in that energy. Okay. Let's see what spirit's final message is for you. Capricorns, sun, moon, rising Venus for the month of December in regards to love and romance. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising and Venus. What is the final message for Sarah? Find them. Oh, okay. We have, and I actually, two that popped out. We have appreciation. Be thankful, Capricorn. Be thankful for this crazy lessons and roller coasters that you guys have been going through emotionally. If you, here's the thing what they're telling me is if you feel like you haven't been able, for those of you guys that are single, if you feel like you haven't been able to to start something new that is worthy, right? Something that you really feel connect, deeply connected to a person. If you feel like it's because of what you've done in the past, whatever that may be, let it go. Be thankful that you went through these lessons because, like I said, the planet is leaving your sign and it's going to give you blessings. And for some of you guys, it's going to bring you marriage. The royal conjunction of Capricorn, uh, sorry, of Saturn and Jupiter. Um, that's your ruling planet. You know what I'm saying? Stop thinking 
the worst or stop thinking negatively. Be thankful of these lessons because you know what? Rest assured, you're not going to go through these lessons anymore, at least not in this lifetime. Healer of the ages. Yeah, you guys are definitely healing from a lot of past karmic debt. And we're not talking about just in this lifetime. You guys are releasing all the, 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 this heaviness of energy, this feeling of inadequacy for some of you guys, even feeling like you cannot find or meet a person that meets your high expectations. It's not that it's, you have high expectations, it's just that you've been through a lot. And it's okay to know exactly what you want. Healer of ages, you are healing not only you, but those you come across. So take it this way, Capricorn, if anything. If you've gone through a situation where you've been hurt, you've been betrayed, you've been used maybe in some situations, there is a higher purpose. One was probably a karmic debt and a lesson for you. And two, you also were healing or teaching something to these individuals that you've dealt with in the past. However, you're at the end of this. You are bringing to you only that of high or the highest vibration. Beautiful reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it gives you some type of clarity and insight. Remember, if you're feeling, if this was you that did this, let it go, Capricorn. Let it go. It was something you had to go through and you had to learn, and you did. Let it go. Let's move on. Let's look towards the future, towards what you want to bring to you. I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys have an amazing birthday. I hope you guys have an amazing holidays. And uh, be safe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.